Hello guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Kendra and I do cooking videos. And uh, it has been a wee little minute since I've been here on my channel, but I'm back. There's two recipes I wanna share with you today that I'm very excited about. One is a dessert. It's a fabulous, a yummy chocolate chip cookie recipe. And the other, is kind of like a take on enchiladas, except it's Italian and uh, made with um, sweet Italian sausages. And it's so different. I was so excited to share it with you today because I'm so excited about it. Milo, see down there? There's Milo right there. Milo, he has been keeping me busy. He's been keeping me really, really busy. Um, work has well. I, I love my job and work has been keeping me busy. So I just haven't had a chance to break out the cameras um, and film in my kitchen, but I am trying to make that a priority. It's one of my, my escapes, my fun things to do, and I need to do that more. So that's my goal. And also, if you can see here, I am starting my fall decorating. Um, so I started with my table. I have my bag of fall items um, out. So I'm gonna start doing the decorating around the house and I'm looking forward to that. And um, I'll share with you as I go along and decorate my house for fall. And it is after Labor Day, so it's okay. <laughs> um, okay, let's get in the kitchen because I wanna show you these awesome recipes. Okay, we're gonna start the first recipe. The first recipe is so delicious. Um, it's actually um, simple crepes and inside the filling for the crepes is basically um, a cooked Italian sausage, um, spinach and caramelized onions. And you're filling the, the basic yummy delicate crepes with this filling. And then um, in a baking dish, you're covering it all with fontina cheese and baking that until melted and ooey gooey magic. Okay, so in a um, heavy pan, I'm just gonna turn the flame on um, about medium. What we're doing is we're going to brown the Italian sausage and we're gonna take it out of the casing, okay? So I'm going to just put in here a little bit of avocado oil. That should be good. Avocado oil. And I am going to open up each casing. So um, I'm basically going to just take the meat out of the casing. And the way I do that, you can squeeze it out of um, both ends, but I usually just kind of sl slice it down the middle like this and take it out like this, okay? So we're gonna do that with all of these. Okay, now that it is browning up a little bit and all crumbled up, I'm going to add some spices. And the Italian sausage already has the basic Italian sausages, Italian sausage flavor, but I'm gonna add just a little bit more. So one thing I love to add is the crushed red pepper, just to give it a little spice. This can be left out. I know a lot of people are not into spicy. Garlic powder. And I'm just kind of going by preference. Just some black pepper. I have some, the Trader Joe's Mushroom and Company. 
delicious mushroom flavor. Just a little bit of that. Okay, and onion powder. Just a little bit of that. Okay, that's pretty much it. That is almost brown. And once that is done, I'm going to put this to the side and start caram caramelizing my onions. I'm going to add the onions to this and we're going to start caramelizing that. All right, so onions are looking good. See how they're looking brown and caramelized? They're reducing. And look at all this beautiful fond at the bottom. This is what I'm going to get up right now. So I am going to just add in some sherry. This will give it flavor, but also will help pick up all that beautiful fawn down at the bottom. Okay, we're gonna add just a little bit more. Okay, and we're gonna reduce. I'm gonna scrape up some of that goodness. Okay, we're going to reduce that sherry. The sherry will give it a great flavor. I'm going to pick up on some of this delicious fond at the bottom. This is going to be good. Okay, see how the sherry is reducing, evaporating, but it's leaving that flavor in there with the onions. Okay, so that's pretty much caramelized. All right, I'm gonna add in the spinach. Now, I'm doing a combination of sour greens, so it's a little bit of, uh, I'm using this one right here from Trader Joe's, the uh, kale, baby chard, and spinach. Okay, so I'm gonna add a handful of that in, and it will reduce. Okay, so that's about good. So I have about a half a bag that I put in of that, and we're going to reduce this. And once we do this, once it's reduced, we're going to add back in that cooked sausage. And that is going to be the filling for these savory, delicious crepes. Just another minute before we add in the sausage. I want to reduce the, yes. See how those greens are wilting down? Okay, that's pretty much wilted down. Now I'm gonna add in that sausage we cooked up earlier. this all together and this is going to be that gorgeous filling in here I know we already seasoned the sausage when we first started cooking it this is your chance to season the onions and the spinach as well so I'm gonna add a little bit more seasoning in this oh my goodness this is delicious this would be good just for um, any kind of pasta tossed with some cooked pasta, some Parmesan cheese. This would be a delicious, this would make a delicious pasta. 
comes to dish, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic powder and then some salt. a little bit of salt. Two pinches of salt. Okay, I think that's good. And that is it, folks. We're gonna let this filling cool down and the crepes are in the fridge. Just resting a little bit before we cook those up. The next step is we're gonna cook the crepes, get a bunch made, and then we're going to roll up these yummy crepes. Okay guys, um, I had a little interruption, but we're back in the kitchen today, and I'm gonna continue on with the crespelle. Crespelle, that's how they would say it in, in Italy. Um, the crepes. So I, I made the crepe batter. It's just a basic crepe batter, flour, eggs, milk, a little salt. And um, I had that sitting in the refrigerator. Um, that sat overnight, actually. But um, the basic crepes or a popover recipe, it's always good to sit at least 30 minutes. It was sitting overnight, which is not going to be a problem. And what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to make the crepes. So I'm going to make a pile of crepes and then I'm going to take the filling, the sausage, greens and caramelized onions. Onions. I'm going to put that filling inside. I'm going to wrap them up, put them in a little dish. I'm going to cover it with a little sauce and put some shredded fontina on it. It's going to be good. That is gonna be what is for dinner tonight. It is Saturday. I hope you guys are doing great. Okay, let's finish this awesome recipe. Okay, so we're gonna get into the crepe portion. Now I just have a basic crepe batter. It's basically just two eggs, three fourth cup of all purpose flour, a cup of milk, and uh, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And I'll put the, um, the measurements for that in the description box below but that's just basic crepe and uh basic crepe recipe and i um, chilled it in the fridge now i'm going to make them up and i have a little plate here for um once they're done i'm just going to pile them up here okay so I'm going to turn this on and I have a little plate of just pieces of butter and I like to make crepes, pancakes, anything like that with butter. So <clears throat> let's heat this up. Okay. And I have a ladle for the crepes and um, I just ladle them in and if you can see, the crepe batter is fairly thick. It's almost like a, um, a thinner pancake batter, and that's what you want. Okay, so I'm gonna put pieces of butter in here. Fontina cheese. Okay, now we have our beautiful filling, the caramelized onions, the greens, or if you wanna just do uh, spinach, you can do that, and the uh, sausage, okay? Now we're going to fill up these little babies, roll them up and put them in our dish. Okay, so
maybe take a little less. Okay, we're gonna fill up these yummy bad boys. I'm gonna place them in our dish just like that. We have these beautiful crepes filled and I'm going to make a little sauce to put on top of this and then we're going to put the fontina cheese on top of that. All I have is two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour, and I am going to, where is my, where is my spatula? I'm going to mix that all together. Mix this all together, just like this, and then I'm gonna add some milk. And I'm making just a basic bechamel sauce. You just wanna cook the flour just a little bit. And I'm gonna add a cup of milk. One cup of milk going in here. And I'm going to use a little spatula. Where is my little spatula? I'm going to use a little spatula to break up the flour pieces. And as that comes to a boil, it'll cook down. Okay, you see how thick that is now? Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit of fresh ground nutmeg. Here is my nutmeg, here is my nutmeg. I'm gonna do some fresh ground nutmeg. Don't ever underestimate the power of nutmeg in a bechamel sauce. It is delicious. Okay, that's about great right now. And let me just add just a little bit of pepper. There we go. I think that is good. Okay. Actually, let me add just a little bit more milk. I wanna thin it out just a little bit. Okay, that is perfect. Let me take you over to the crepes here. And on top of this, we're gonna pour this wonderful sauce over the bechamel. Or sorry, over the over the crepes. So again, that's just a basic bechamel sauce, white sauce, with some nutmeg and some black pepper. Okay. 
Okay. And we're gonna cover all the crepes with the sauce. And then on top of that, we're going to add the Fontina cheese on top of all of this. We're gonna layer, we're gonna basically put this whole, all this cheese onto the crepes. And it's going to be cheesy goodness. Okay. And that's it. This is going to cook at 450 for about 10 to 15 minutes. And it is going to be delicious. Okay. This is what it looks like. See how the edges are kind of browned? Look at that inside. And I let it cool off for about 15 minutes or so. And we are going to cut into it and take a little taste. Take a little taste with me. Okay, so here it is right here. So let me get a knife and a plate. And we're going to dig in to this delicious Remember, remember, it's called crespelle, crespelle, or savory filled crepes. Okay, let's cut into this. So, if you wanted to serve a whole one, of course, do this. I am just going to try a little bit for now. Fontina cheese. It smells like a pizza. Um, let me get a little spatula. Ooh, I love a crispy piece of cheese like that. Fabulous. First of all, I love anything with sausage, onions, melted cheese. I love crepes. I love crepes for breakfast. There you go. Mm. Oh my gosh. delicious the crepes are so tender it's almost like you have lasagna sheets but the tenderest lasagna sheets you've ever had oh my gosh it is so delicious the cheese on top the fontina cheese It's so good. Oh my gosh. Honestly, you guys, if you don't do anything else, do this. Just try this. Look at that. inside. The greens, the sausage, the caramel, the caramelized onions all together. Just wow. This is amazing. This is a treat. 
Mm. Give this a try, you guys. Something different. You're gonna like it, I promise you. You're gonna like it. Thanks for joining me. I will see you next time in my kitchen. Oh yeah, the cookies. We're gonna get to the cookies next. That's gonna be my next, my next video, okay? Thanks for joining me. We will see you next time in my kitchen. You guys have a fabulous day and get cooking. I swear you're gonna love it.